two, one, and we're live! Blast off! Thank you so much for tuning in to PTZ Optics Back to Basics. We've got a lot to discuss today, so let's jump right into the show. Let's do it. So starting off, we have uh, we will be in Las Vegas in just a couple weeks at the 2018 Infocom show. And if you're looking to get free tickets, you can use VIP code HUD391 for free tickets to the show. We have a list of interviews that we're going to be interviewing industry professionals. It's a great time to grab people all over the industry. We're going to be interviewing Magewell with their brand new encoders, capture cards, and new tech NDI announcements that are really just forthcoming. They've got a really great announcement. I know they've told me about for Infocom that I'm very excited about. We will have new tech on the show at 1 p.m. on Thursday, and then Icron, the USB extension manufacturer, on Thursday as well. On Friday, we'll have Phoenix Audio, and as you can see, we still have some time, so if there's anyone you want us to grab an interview, I think we're going to get Pro Presenter from uh, also on the show, so that'll be fun. Uh, so don't forget to schedule a meeting at ptzoptics.com slash infocom. We want to see you guys. That's a little picture of our booth, and it's going to be so much fun. We'd love to see you there and get some time to really sit down and meet together. We, today, we're going to be talking about the new app features in the PC, Mac, and OBS uh, apps. They have added so many new features. In fact, we're going to present to you our plan for the next week of all the new features that we're going to pump into this puppy. And I think you're really going to be excited of what we're going to have today. Also, our new Twitch app is near completion, and I made some, uh, it's, it's, it's available to us, but it's not available to the public just yet. We talked with Twitch, and we have some very interesting new features that we want to tell you about. This is going to be available to the public before the end of the week, so we're really excited about that. There's a new mobile design so that you can control cameras with Twitch on a mobile device. And today we're going to talk a little bit about dynamic DNS and public IP addresses, some basic information that you need to know on how to control your camera from anywhere in the world. Here I am. What's going on, guys? How you doing today? Couple things from over in my end, starting with the streamer spotlight. Thank you, Frank, for showing us your application of the brand new PTZ control app for Android. It was so exciting uh, to see that in use on your Samsung tablet. So much fun. Thank you for sharing and for the feedback on that as well. Keep in mind, the streaming awards are coming up at the end of next week. Can you believe that, Paul? Can't believe it. One week away, Friday, June 1st, we will be hosting the streaming awards virtually and in person. So head to streamingawards.com to be continuing casting your votes for your favorite streamers. Uh, some of the prizes for the streaming awards that we've recently come up with, lockdown, hopefully there may even be some more. We have PTZ Optics Camera, of course. Major well capture cards, lots of streaming software. Uh, so we have Mimo Live, vMix, Wirecast, all your favorite streaming softwares. We have a couple X keys we're gonna give away, some teleprompter equipment and more. So make sure to share the prizes with the nominees so they know what they're up for. And that is it. So we're I'm so excited to see you guys. All of this and more will be coming up in our show. We don't have a show intro, so we're just going to start the show Let's right now. Let's just do an intro. Ooh, Ooh. PTZ Optics in the house. Prepare for a kick-ass show. Woo. Woo all right, so let's get into our presentation. So our presentation today is all about what we're going to be showing in Infocom and then transitioning into the new apps and the new Twitch apps. So we're really excited to show all that. We're going to be teasing some stuff, correct? Um, so, we reached out. Okay, so we just came out with the PTZ plugins. Yes. This is where we can BS for days, so it uh, doesn't even matter. We can just continue. But this is important stuff, actually. We reached out for some feedback from yes. the beta testers for that. Mm -hmm. We got the feedback, and now what's happening? Yeah, so we got the feedback, and actually running parallel to um, the feedback that we've been uh, getting for our iOS app, or sorry, for our PC, Mac, and OB OBS plugin app, is actually some develop some really interesting developments on the Android side of things. As many of you may know, we've had an uh, iOS app. This is developed by Justin Brown, and uh, this is available for $10 on the iOS store. It's now available 
on Android. And again, it's $10. This is a $50 Android app. I can't believe it. And as you can see here, I can just for $50. In fact, I'm just going to zoom into it to show it in a little bit more detail. This product, it's just being in the audiovisual industry for so long and knowing how expensive touchscreen controllers are. This just is incredible to me to know that you can have a full screen. This is $50 pan tilt zoom app. And as you can see here, uh, we have presets, which we can actually set and name. We also have the ability to zoom and to uh, focus. Now you can see that the focus right now is locked. So I can't touch that until if it's an autofocus, but if I untouch that, it turns into autofocus. I've also got up to eight cameras that I control. And then one new feature that I think is really great is this lock button here. So we can lock pan and tilt. So now we can just go left to right as opposed to oh, going a little too much there, but as opposed to going um, up and down. So we're ready for the presentation now, but I just want to show you guys that. Actually, that was a great segue into what we're talking about. So we're going to have Justin Brown, the developer from uh, Pan Tilt Zoom app, available on iOS and Android. That's why our audio is not coming in. Schmadio? It's fuzzy. Yeah. Is my oh. audio coming in? Yeah, your audio. Well, yours is far away from your mouth, maybe. Testing, testing. One, two, three. No. All right. Let me take a look. Test. Can you take us through this presentation? Sure. Of course I can take us through this presentation. Testing, one, two, three. Uh, I'll just need you guys to switch for me. We have the 2018 Infocom show coming up in just two weeks, I believe. I actually am not going to be there, unfortunately, testing, testing. physically, but all the other guys are going to be there. Paul will be there. Michael will be there representing us. Really looking forward to it. You guys may or may not be familiar with our booth. Here's a great snapshot of our booth that we do carry to every trade show with us you can easily find us if you look for the giant ptz camera testing, we are going to be in north hall this year just a couple housekeeping things about infocom we're going to be in north hall booth n664 so make sure that you visit the guys we're representing huddle cam as well so we're going to be with our partner company uh during that time so if you're interested in the conferencing area arena as well, this one's definitely going to be for you. Let me know in the chat if you are going to be at Infocom so we know who to be looking out for this year. Are you getting audio from me? Yeah. We're having some audio issues. Testing. Live testing. technical difficulties. So I am going to continue talking one, two, for testing one, purposes with the guys. Two are messing with the audio testing, and adjusting testing. some settings to see if we can't testing, figure out testing. what's going one, on two, here. Three. Can you hear me? So, uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, testing, I'm, yeah, one, I'm two, showing can you, level. Wait, just hold on. Can you hear me? One, two, three. Yeah, I can hear you, but it's still. Still fuzzy? Yeah. Let me know what you are. Um, they're saying they're getting good audio. They say they are getting good audio? Oh, they can hear us fine. Okay, it's just Is your it headphones. The headphones. It's your headphones. It's not your fault. I mean, if you're hearing it fuzzy, you're hearing it fuzzy. We have new headphones coming in. Our headphones are not. Uh, we need new right, headphones. So one, two, new three. headphones are coming in. <laughs> but. All right. So it's. So I that's think, what's I think the great about fine. having the live audience, because we can also get their perspective as well. And great. So and I, think, then I think the decipher. audio is OK. I think it's just our headphone setup. OK. Okay, sorry about that, Thank guys. you guys for helping us out in the chat and bearing with us. All right, so you can see there's our booth there, and we're going to be doing our live interviews there. There's Tom Sinclair from Eastern Shore Broadcasting, and that is our interview schedule that we talk so much yeah, about. Yeah, this is what we have lined up for you guys so far. As you can see, we have two openings. So if you're a company that is being represented at Infocom and you would like to be interviewed live from Inco Infocom from our booth, please let us know. We have Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and 1.30 Pacific Standard Time. All these times are Pacific Standard Time, so keep that in mind. We'll be live on Facebook and YouTube and likely Twitch Yeah. Um, every day from Infocom, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that is. So we'll see you there. I wanted to show you quickly where our booth is. 
So our booth is right here. So it's N644. This is North Hall. So this is North Hall. And I'll use a different color because you can barely probably see that. I apologize. It's right here. So right in the top right there. It's a really nice big booth and we'd love to have you there. Travis, we're using the NDI Telestrator app for uh, the drawing on the screen. <laughs> Uh, we mentioned this briefly, but if you'd like to get a free pass, the VIP code is HUD319. You can get a free Infocom pass. Don't pay for a pass. Get a free one. Okay, so now let's talk about our new controllers. Uh, we've done a lot to these, and we've got a lot of new features I'd love to, uh, to share with you guys. So first of all, it's actually available for Windows 7, 8, and 10. So we did some updates, so it's now available for... Uh, Windows 7 up. So it is 64-bit on the Windows platform. On the Mac platform, uh, it's starting at basically the latest, which is High Sierra. And then on the OBS platform, again, we actually are supporting Windows 7 and up on OBS 21.1 and higher. Um, and just to quickly look at some of the features I want to show you guys, up to eight cameras. So you can control up to eight cameras. That's where that is. You can have... Um, you can see here you can have pan tilt zoom control and speed control uh, so the speed of the pan tilting and zooming we have exposure mode control iris shutter speed brightness luminance there's a lot here but we're adding even more and that's what we're going to talk about in the next couple slides oh yeah uh, so one of the things we're trying to do is we're trying to streamline the plat the program so that it, it's easier to use. So this is a rough drawing that me and the engineers were using, but essentially there's gonna be a compact version. And you'll see up here at the top, there will be a compact, a standard, and an advanced uh, button so that you can just have a little teeny um, area to, to work with or a larger space or the advanced space with everything. The compact area is just gonna be pan, tilt, zoom, camera select, and maybe like three presets. Ah, I see how you have it organized with the a things. Nice little teeny space. Mm -hmm. uh, standard is going to open up and give us more exposure settings, PTZ settings, um, be able to call in, uh, pre call more presets. And uh, then the advanced settings are going to have even more where we can get into really tweaking the exposure, the luminance, the gain, and the hue. And the thought process there was like some of that stuff, like fl flipping the camera image or doing the exposure, it's done once and then you mm -hmm. don't really need it. So that way, once you're done with the advanced tab, you can kind of go back to standard or compact. Also, every section, actually, I'm going to spend a moment there. Uh, every section is going to have a toggle. So you can see like this is the control section. This is the preset section. This is the zoom section, the exposure section. You'll be able to, uh, to go in and out of those. Some of the new features that we're adding is the ability to lock focus. So if you know that a certain plane of focus you want to lock, and you don't want autofocus to be messing up if someone walks in front of the camera or something changes, you can lock the focus. We'll be adding PTZ speeds between presets, speed by zoom, and what that allows you to do is as you zoom in further, it automatically slows down the pan and tilt. Because as you know, when you zoom into something far away, you kind of want it to be slow. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna have those toggles I talked about, and then something I'm really excited about, this was Matt Davis's idea, is something that's gonna have uh, this is this is a super advanced setting, Tom. Is <laughs> and this is I think this is, people are really gonna love this. It is a image pre snapshot. So when you store a preset in one, two, three, all the way up to nine, when you hit store, it will take a picture of where the camera is and put a picture there. Nice. So once you store, let's say three presets, you'll be looking at three pictures of what the, where those presets actually go. That's really cool. So I'm thinking for a house of worship. It's like a wirecast feature. Space. Yeah, it's very similar to like wirecast and vmix, what they're doing. So that'll, and this is obviously going to be free. We're also looking for a video preview. So the ability to either pop out a, a video preview window or have a video preview window. I was Where talking do you think to the of support this stuff? guys. I was talking to the support guys. And this, okay. these are from user users that want this. Okay. Because a lot of users might be running SDI to an encoder or something, and they can't even see the camera. Right, because they just can't see it, so they don't have anything. So this would give Giles, them a video preview. Um, the other thing we're adding, hi Giles, is an image query, image setting query. 
So what we found was querying the cameras too often can actually slow down the process of, of the essential functions. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a little button right here. that You click it and it automatically queries the camera for image, saturation, luminance, contrast, all of these things so that you automatically know where all these settings are, but you don't have to ping the camera all the time. Also, operating the on-screen display menu, image flip, image mirror, and then even better is we're going to be changing all of these. These buttons are going to be icons because that's more international. Also, the final thing, and again, we're at, tell us what your requests are. We can add more. Is we're going to add, we're going to make it more of a dark um, preset. Yes, Vikram, preset pictures are going to be awesome. Kevin Schmuel has been helping us out a lot. This is our third version, essentially. I have a question. Yeah. Um, I'm going to pop up. So on this slide right here for the windows, we see that we have a different coloring. Yes. Scheme. Is that available so for this, all? This is the color scheme. This is similar to the color scheme we're going to go with. Uh, we're actually going to get rid of that blue and go with a darker gray. Because we're thinking about like people in a video production room. They don't want to have this like bright thing on the screen. They want it to be like dark. It's going to be like a dark gray. So that is the layout. We tend to like that. Yeah. I the don't darker know why. Kind of. it's easy. It makes it seem simpler. E easier it's on easier the on the eyes. eyes. Yeah, for sure. So really quickly, on Windows 7 and up, all you have to do is download the app at ptzoptics.com slash apps. And for Windows, you simply unzip the files, put them on your desktop, and you click the PTZ Optics QTXE file. EXE file. For Mac? John still just subscribed on Twitch. Yay, thank you, John. Thank you. We love our subscribers. We appreciate it. Um, for Mac, all you have to do is drag the PTZ Optics uh, QT into your applications folder and double click. For OBS, it's a little different. You go, you go into the OBS folder in your program files, and there's a plugins folder where you just copy and paste all the files into there. Um, on OBS, this is the only one that's a little different than the other two, is you just go up to Tools, and once <laughs> you've already installed it in the Plugins folder, and you have to restart OBS, open it and close it again, you will see the PTZ Optics camera controller, and that's how you will access it. Now, the app features just a couple of, these are the features that are in today. Uh, when you hit the multi-camera um, button, the multi-camera settings, uh, this is going to pop up, and essentially this allows you to enter the IP addresses of the camera and enter the names of the cameras, so you can quickly click and switch between cameras. Um, down here is where we have the presets. Now, this is all getting moved to be easier, but right, right now the presets are down here. They're going to get moved up to the top. I think it's going to make it easier. Nice. Um, right now we have we have full support for focus control or for exposure controls. So one of the things to keep in mind is that some controls do not work when you're in certain um, exposure modes. For example, if you are in auto exposure mode, Irish shutter speed and brightness won't work because it's automatically doing that. Um, and what we're going to do to make this even easier for users is that when you're in auto mode, those will now be grayed out. Now, when you're in manual mode, those uh, iris and shutter speed will work. Brightness is deactivated. So just some things to think about. Obviously, shutter speed, when you're in shutter speed optimization, shutter speed works, but iris is then, iris and brightness are now being automatically controlled, so they're deactivated. Um, really quickly, we have luminance, contrast, and hue. Uh, I'm hoping to add uh, saturation as well to that. Uh, but those are just great little tools, especially hue. For color matching, which we talked about in the show previously. Uh, flipping the camera and mirroring the camera are two things that people enjoy doing, uh, adjusting the focus, but it only happens every once in a while. It's not needed all the time. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're putting that in the advanced section and allowing people to hide that when not needed. Good thinking. It's all downloadable at ptzoptics.com slash apps. It's all free and it's available for you guys. Now, here's something that I am incredibly interested in. Matt Davis and I are really geeking out about this. Um, Twitch is, and I have to thank David Foster from Geeks Life for telling us to even look into Twitch. Mm -hmm. And then the more and more I looked into it, the more and more I realized that Amazon is really pushing hard for this. 
And literally, there's an advertisement for Twitch on every single Amazon package. I noticed that too. Isn't that recently? crazy? Yeah. So you don't That's think this really is going to grow, then you're crazy. Thank you, Tom. We've been spending a lot of time on this. But I think that this Twitch app might even be more amazing. So what happens is, is that you can basically have pan tilt zoom controls on top of the Twitch live stream. And another really cool thing is you can have presets. So you can decide, okay, I want this person to be able to control uh, to control my just a couple cameras. And this is for behind the scenes cameras. This is potentially for, imagine if you could give your customer a camera that stream was already set to stream to Twitch and it was already on a dynamic DNS account and you could put this behind a backstage uh, of a rock concert or a um, festival or something mm -hmm. that's going on uh, and people in the audience can control it. Or even like a live artist or something. Yeah, so live you art. Zoom, uh, on Twitch, I'm thinking. So you could zoom into a portion of their Yeah, live art, piece. all that things. Now, there's a couple of things that we need to talk about in order for you to be successful with this app. And I think it's general knowledge that we should be going over with everyone. And that is using a public IP address and dynamic DNS. Now, really quickly, before we leave this slide, I just want to mention there's two modes. So uh, here we go. We're right there. So there is code mode and there is queue mode. Now, code <laughs> mode means you can have the, the controls locked to a code. So you just give the code to the one person that you trust and they can operate the camera for you. Queue mode is when there's thousands of people that you want to be able to control. And Gene's saying, what is he saying here? Nice, nice extension. We would love to use this to control the crowd shots for viewers to control. Thank you guys for this. Yeah, this is good. This is going to be really amazing. And we've been trying to do this for like over two years, but the development's been too expensive. And the uh, you'd always have to use a custom content delivery network and pay like Twitch bandwidth like crazy. But, uh -oh. but Amazon's now paying for the bandwidth. And I have some stories to tell about Twitch. We'll tell in the post show, but they are really excited about this. They are going to be letting 2.1 million broadcasters know about it. And some of the things that are happening with these extensions are incredible. So let's go to our next presentation. So the configuration page is where on the back end of Twitch, this is what Twitch looks like if you haven't seen Twitch before. Um, <laughs> now he's, what, he's trying to think of why he likes Twitch so much. Yes, now YouTube, you can do multiple camera angles and I still think that's amazing. I was talking to Twitch a little bit about that and we came up with some interesting Thoughts. I'm, I'm not sure how much I can share, but in the post show, we will talk a little bit about it. Don't but ruin this for us. I won't ruin it for us. All right. So on the Twitch uh, back end, there's an extension area. And in extensions, you can install uh, the PTZ Optics audience camera controller. And the way it works is you can enter an outside IP address, a public IP address for your camera. That's how this works. If you don't have a public IP address, which businesses have access to, a lot of home users do not, mm -hmm. you can sign up for dynamic DNS. And what dynamic DNS is, a lot of home routers, a lot of people who have Verizon or Comcast or Cox or whatever they're using for their <laughs> internet service provider, their ISP, they are not given a static IP address, a public static IP address. So what you can do, your IP address is always changing. So what you can do is you can sign up for dynamic DNS. They will give you a dynamic, unchanging static string. And that string is called dynamic DNS. And it always goes back to your router and says, oh, look, my IP address has changed. Let's reroute it to that so that that dynamic address always stays the so same. So this is so you can do the PTZ extension. You need this. Okay. Because the app needs to know where the camera is. And it has to be outside your local area network available in the wide area network. So that's the first thing you have to do. The next thing is just simple. You just have to choose whether or not you want code mode or queue mode. And if you choose code mode, you can type in the code. And then down here, we've just got four presets. We thought that would be enough. And you can just name the presets that the audience has control over. So you can have the audience control of the drummer or the singer or you know, the crowd or the scoreboard or whatever the four ports, parts of interest are, and then the audience can control that. 
Now, the Twitch extension page, uh, you'll see here, Twitch has multiple different types of extensions, and they're really, really uh, amazing. One is a panel. We're not using that because it doesn't really sound. One is a video overlay. That's what we have now. And there's a new one called a component, which we've already had built. It's going to be re released June 19th. We're going to be one of the first release partners with hardware specifically uh, to have a component for Twitch. And components are great. If you're a Twitch person, you know this. You can only have one video overlay, but you can have two components. And components are two little buttons at the bottom of the screen. When you click it, the component pops up. When you click it again, the component goes away. So gamers are currently using that. If you're playing an RPG, you know, a video game, uh, the viewers can click it and see the items that the person has in their you know, armor that they're wearing or okay, information see. about the game can mm -hmm. pop up and then pop back down when, they're, when they don't want it anymore. Very cool. It makes it very engaging for gaming. We're making it engaging for live events. Does the PTZ app have multi-camera support? Yes, the PTZ app can do eight cameras. The Twitch app is really just designed for one. The last thing here, really, I think this is the last part of it, is that uh, we're going a little late, so we'll, we'll go to the switch to Twitch now, uh, is that it has been designed for mobile. So mo the world has gone mobile. It really works well. Um, in a little bit, uh, well, we can't show this to you guys yet, unfortunately, because it, it, it's coming out by the end of the week. By the end of the week, anyone with a PTZ Office camera can go to Twitch, set this up for free. I wonder if we have any have gamers that use our cameras, really. Well, we will. <laughs> we will when this happens. So we'll see you guys in the post show. Please come with us. I have some interesting uh, stuff I want to share uh, from Twitch and some things I think I'm allowed to share and some things that I won't get us in trouble with but uh very interesting stuff coming on the twitch platform yeah. 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 Yeah.